YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another video, and in today's video, we have some more Redskins news, but different today, different today. The schedule is finally here. The official schedule is finally here. Now we've been knew who we were playing, who we were playing. We've been knew what 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 like what teams were were we going to play, but we just didn't know what week. But now we do. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you can notify when I upload a video about the NFL. In this case. My Washington Redskins, or should I say, our Washington Redskins, and let's get straight into today's video. Now, the video was supposed to have come about two hours ago, but I had trouble with my computer, so I have to do it like this now. So, kicking things off with week one, we host the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, this should be a good one, man. This should be a good one to see Chase Young's debut, Ron Revere's debut. Now, I do think it's going to be a close one. I do think our, our offense is going to be good enough to, you know, kill that poor Eagles secondary. Now, they did make a, a splash by getting Darius Slay, but they did lose Malcolm Jenkins. And Darius Slay literally said himself that the Redskins got him winning Terry McLaurin because Terry McLaurin cooked, cooked Darius Slay last year. So with all that being said, I do have the Washington Redskins losing their opener versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, this is an early prediction. And now, I'm going to make another one somewhat July, August, when the when the, um, when the the um 53-man roster is is somewhat, you know, done. 55-man roster is done. You know, all the cuts are made. I'm going to make another one before the regular season starts. So, this is just a way too early prediction. Now, I have a start off the season 0-1 versus the Philadelphia Eagles. And then I have, after week two, we play the Cardinals. Ooh. We play the Cardinals at Arizona, um, and, and I just don't see us winning this game either. I don't see us winning this game either. They have the the the, the young the young phenom, the rookie of the year, former rookie of the year that previous season, 2019, and Kyler Murray, and they made the biggest splash this offseason, in my opinion, in signing the best receiver in all the football in DeAndre Hopkins. Um, you know, arguably you can say Mike Tom, Michael Thomas too. I think Michael Thomas is probably the uh, have him by an edge. Um, but he is one of the best football oh, wide receivers in football. I don't see us winning this game, so I have us starting off 0-2. Although we do own the Cardinals for the past couple years that we played them, we did beat them, but I just don't see us winning. I just don't see us winning this game this year. So we start off 0-2. You know, they have Cliff Kingsbury, man, a young offensive-minded coach who wanted his guy in Kyler Murray, and he got his guy. So I have us starting off 0-2. Now, September 27th, we play at Cleveland, and I have us getting our first win of the season, baby. I have us getting our first win of the season. So now we're one and two. Um, I just think that Baker isn't that good. Kevin Stefanski got exposed versus the 49ers in the playoffs. Now, I'm not comparing our team to the 49ers, but we are taking their blueprint. Um, just make Kevin Stefanski pass. He, you know, he does, he's not really a good pass scheme coach caller or should I say he doesn't have he doesn't put well together a good passing scheme um and you go from a, a quarterback like Kirk Cousins to a guy like Baker Mayfield who is really not not really that good in my opinion that's just my opinion some may beg to differ I just don't think Baker Mayfield is that good how do you have Odell and Jarvis Landry I know your line is is, is cruised and you guys drafted uh Tristan Wirfs was it Tristan Wirfs or it was it was Tristan Wirfs or Dredrick Wills one of them guys I don't really remember recall but you did draft the offensive line, so that should give Baker some help. But still, I still have us getting the best of the Cleveland Browns come week three. So we're sitting at one and two. Now we have the 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 the, the battle of the Beltway coming up week four. We host the Baltimore Ravens. Now this is this game is just self-explanatory. I have us losing this one, so we're one and three. I don't even have to spend too much time on this. Yes, our front seven is great, and maybe you can get after Lamar for some for some plays, but his speed is just gonna kill us. And not just Lamar Jackson himself; his whole overall team is just better than ours. And I think they will get the best of us. So that leaves us at one and three going into week uh five versus the there we go versus the LA Rams and I think we're going to get this I think we're going to get our second one of the season I think we're going to get it with our second one of the season um they got rid of Todd Gurley they got rid of Jalen Ramsey last year I just think this team was heading into a rebuild um Jared Goff just doesn't seem to be the answer in my opinion and um we own the Rams even if they did have a good team we own the Rams every time we play the Rams we beat them so I have us getting our second one of the season so we're sitting at two and three heading into finally Finally heading into the game that we've all been waiting for, Dwayne Haskins versus Daniel Jones, or in other words, the Giants versus the Washington Redskins at the Meadowlands. And I have us coming out on top. 
with that win. Now, I just can't wait for this game. All the Giants fans have just been talking crazy. They've been talking crazy about how Dwayne Haskins is better than, or should I say Daniel Jones is better than Dwayne Haskins. Um, um, Fitz Vegas called Chase Young a bust. Like, come on, man. I just can't wait for this game. And I can't wait for us to kill Daniel Jones. And I can't wait for our offense to uh, exploit that bum defense. Now, they did get James Bradbury, but was he worth $15 million a year? Hey. I don't think so. So that leaves us at 3-3. Three and three. We beat the Browns, we beat the Rams, and we beat the Giants. And But we lost to the Car or the Cardinals, Eagles, and, 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 and Ravens. So that leaves us at 3-3 three and three heading into Week 7. Is that 7 right there? Yep, Week 7. Now I do have us losing this game. Now before I tell you who it is, they set us up, guys. They set us up. We just got out of, out of a grueling match with the Giants. Now the Giants, although I have us beating them, this should be a good rivalry for the next 20 years. Dwayne Haskins versus Daniel Jones will be a great one to watch. They both are great quarterbacks or good quarterbacks and will be great quarterbacks for their teams one day. And it should be a good one to watch for the next 20 years. But I have us having the edge as of right now. Now, they set us up, guys. Whoever made the, whoever made the schedule set us up. They put us versus the Giants. Then they have us playing versus the, 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 the Cowboys um, at home. Now, it's at home. But really, is it at home? We know the Cowboys always take over our stadium. So, Cowboys fans take over our stadium. So, I have us losing this game. And I'm being unbiased. I just think their team is just overall better than us. And I think their offense is just too overpowered. Their, their offense is too, not overpowered, but more better than our, our, our defense. And considering the fact that we don't have a good secondary, we didn't do anything to the free agency um, market really in free agency outside of getting Ron, um, Ronald Darby and a couple other pieces. But we don't really have that big outside corner that's going to stop Amari Cooper and or CeeDee Lamb. Now, with them adding CeeDee Lamb, that just makes them even more scary. And I know how much crap we like to talk about Dak, but let's be real. Dak owns us, guys. Redskins fans, let's just be real for a second. Dak owns us, guys. So, um, we, lo we lost this game. We lost this game. Their team is just better than us overall. So, that leaves us at, what, 3-5 and five heading into our bye week. Um, let me double check. So, we lost to the Eagles. We lost to the Cardinals. We lost to the Ravens, and we just lost to the Cowboys. Okay, so we lost to the Cowboys, and we beat the we beat the Steelers or, or the Browns. We beat the Rams, and we beat the. Giants. Okay, so we're three and five heading into our bye week, which is not that bad, because considering the fact that people have us going four and twelve, five and eleven, we're almost exceeding expectations. So with us heading into our bye week three and five, it's okay. Now coming out of the bye week, we get the we get the we get the Giants out of here early. We get the Giants out of here early. Now, I do have us losing this game versus the Giants. I have us splitting down the middle. I just think that both teams are just equally matched, and and, and, and they, they will split. They will split. Enough said about that. Um, that Both Daniel Jones and the Wayne Haskins will have good games, but they will just split. We win the first match, and they win the second one. So we're 3-6 and six heading into the game versus Detroit, and I have us pooping on Detroit in a, 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 a blowout fashion. A blowout fashion. Now, they did get Jeffrey Okuda. Terry McLaurin versus Jeffrey Okuda should be a good one to watch. Should be a good one to watch. But I think Chase Young will have his best game yet. Chase Young will have his best game yet. I think he have six to five sacks. Maybe solo. Maybe together with Deron Payne and Matt uh, Montez. I can't wait for that game. He's going to feast. So, that has us sitting at, what, four and six. Heading into the game versus the, um, to the, the game versus the Bengals. Game versus the Bengals. I have us beating the Bengals. Now, Joe Burrow and T. Higgins should be a good duo to watch for the next couple years ahead. I just think that that, that we have the better overall team as far as defense and, and receiving core. So, I have us beating the, the, the Bengals, and that has us on a nice little streak. That has us on a nice little streak. So, now we're 5-6 and six heading into the game versus the Cowboys on Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving. Now, the only thing about this game, it is at, it's, it's in Dallas. And you know how bad they like to cheat versus the Redskins for Dallas in Dallas, especially on Thanksgiving when, you know, the whole world is watching. I ha However, I have us going into Dallas, marching into Dallas. March, march, about face into Dallas and beating them. By a field goal. By a field goal, man. So I have us being 6-6. Six and six. Quick record update as of right now. We lost to the Eagles. We lost to the um. We lost to the Cardinals. We lost to the Ravens. We lost to the uh, the uh, 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 Cowboys, and we lost to the Giants. So that is that is what that's five losses. Let me double check. One, two, three, four. 
four, uh, four, five. Yep, that's five losses. There, right, 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 right. right. Yep, that's five losses. So we're sitting at we're sitting at six and five. My bad, we're sitting at six and five. Actually, six and five. You can double check if you want. Um, you can put it down there for me in, in, in the comment section. Next game we play, we have the the Pittsburgh Steelers. After that grueling win over the Dallas Cowboys, good thing it's on Thanksgiving, so we have a 10-day rest in between. And I just have us beating the Steelers. I have us beating the Steelers. The Steelers are just not good. I feel like that they don't have any. They don't really have any weapons to surround Ben Roethlisberger with outside of Juju Smith-Schuster. And Juju Smith-Schuster is set to be a free agent this next offseason coming up. And who's to say Ben Roethlisberger is going to be there December 6th? It could be Doug Hodges, for all we know. It could be, it could be, uh, uh what's the other guy's name? Doug Hodges and uh, Mason Rudolph. Who knows? I really think it could be one of them because we know how how poorly uh, Ben Roethlisberger has been, you know, not playing, but he's, he he just hasn't been able to stay healthy for the past two years. He was considering retirement at one point, so I just don't think he'll be there come December 6th. So I have us winning that game. So that has us, what, at 7-5 and five heading into the game versus the San Francisco 49ers in Santa Clara. Now, the game that we did play them last season, we did lose 9-0, um, but I have us losing this game in a blowout fashion. So that leaves us at 7-6. and six. We really don't have to talk about that now. They have Trent Williams, former Redskins, Trent Williams, Kyle Smith as the head coach, or Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Shanahan. I said Kyle Smith. Kyle Shanahan as the head coach. So that really is going. We're really going to get killed. I really do think we're going to get killed. So we're seven and six heading into the game versus the um the, the the Seattle Seahawks. The Seattle Seahawks, man. Now I just don't. The Seattle Seahawks are just not. Their team isn't unbeatable. Last time we played Seattle, we beat them. But I just think they're going to get the better of us. It's December twentieth, by the way, and we will be. They will be fighting for a playoff spot. They will be fighting for a playoff spot. Um, and I just don't think they will be losing, man. Russell Wilson is a whole nother time, whole nother kind of dude when it's come to time for playoffs or fighting for playoff positioning. And I just think Seattle is going to get the best of us. So that leaves us at 7-7 seven and seven, heading into the game versus the Carolina Panthers, formerly ran by Ron Rivera, of course. So he's going back to Carolina or Carolina's coming here, but he's playing Carolina once again. So we're 7-7, seven and seven, possibly fighting for a playoff spot. Who knows? And we get the edge on the Carolina Panthers. I think we get the edge on the the new Carolina Panthers and the new uh, ran Matt Rule, and I think we just we out we outsmart we out coach them and we we just pound the ball. Um, they did upgrade their defensive line by getting Derrick Brown for their Auburn from Auburn, but I think we still gonna be able to run the ball efficiently, and I think we're just gonna be able to beat them. I think we're gonna be able to beat them. So we're eight and seven right now, heading into the final game of the season versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Now I have us splitting. With the Philadelphia Eagles. Now that leaves us with the final record of nine and seven. Let me know if you guys think with uh, how how this season played out. And just take a wild guess. Do you have us making the playoffs? I don't know. Nine and seven seems like it could get us there, but I just don't know. Like, comment, subscribe, hello to the Redskins. Turn on post notifications so you can know to upload a video about the NFL. In this case, I watched the Redskins. That was my final record position uh, or pr uh, prediction. Record prediction. Another one will be coming out probably June or late August. Um, when the when the 55 man roster is complete, when everything is set for the regular season, and therefore we can know who's going to be on the roster. But as of right now, it's just an early guess. It's just an early guess. I have us going nine and seven. What do you have us going after seeing our record? Like, comment, subscribe, hello to the Redskins. Leave it down below. We're at 573 subs. Give me to 600. Let's go, man. Hello to the Redskins. Peace.